to law. Is it necessary to marry in life? What is the physical relationship between man and woman? I don't know. <laughs> you ought to know. Huh? What a strange question this is, isn't it? Is it necessary to marry in life? What do you say? If I put, if the speaker puts this question to you, what will you answer? Is it necessary, sirs and ladies, that I should marry? What would be your answer? Your answer probably would be, do what you want to do. Why bother me with it? It's up to you. But you see, the question is really much more complex than that. We all want companionship. We all want sexual relationship, a biological necessity. But also we want somebody on whom we can rely, in whom we can find security, in whom there is a sense of comfort, support. Because most of us cannot stand alone on our own feet. Therefore we say, I must marry or have, have a friend, girl, whatever it is, I must have somebody with whom I can be at home. We are never at home with anybody, because we are living in our own thoughts, in our own problems, our own ambitions and so on. And we are frightened to stand alone. Because life is very lonely. Life is very, very complex, troublesome. And one needs somebody with whom you can talk things over. And also, when you marry, you have sexual relationships, children and so on. So, in this relationship between man and woman, there is always, if there is no love, you use her and she uses you. You exploit her and she exploits you. That's a fact. So, the question I say is, ask, should one marry? And what is the physical relationship between man? God, don't you question? It's up to you, sir. But really enter into this whole complex problem of living together not only with two people, living together with humanity, with your neighbour, with your boss, with your servant, if you have a servant, with your, with your father, mother, children, to live together. It's a very complex thing. Living together as a family gives you certain security certain safety. And so you extend that family to a group, to a community, to a state, to a nation, and from a nation which is opposed to another nation, and so there is always division and conflict and war. 
So one has to find out how to live with another. without any conflict, without any sense of struggle, adaptation, adjustment, that requires a great deal of intelligence, integrity. But we just marry off because sexual, biological demands and so on.